In this video, we want to talk about uh, sled control. Using the technique that we teach, it's all about having control of the sled. And when you have control of the sled, then you can advance into the back country. At will, you should be able to go up slope, down slope, reverse, turn around. In other words, just be able to navigate the back country at will and feel safe and have a good time doing it. With a backcountry sled, you need to be able to pull the sled to its edge, and this is what gives you control to carve. Anytime you're driving with both skis on the snow, you cannot carve. You don't have that edge that gives you the control you need to carve and, and make turns in the snow. Of course, if you're running down the trail, you need to be two skis down. That's the right and correct way to do it. When you're cruising out through the field on the flat. Two skis down is, is perfectly all right. You can certainly in a flat field pull the sled to its edge and carve a turn through the snow both left and right, have a great time doing it, but you can also navigate that turn two skis down. If you're traversing a slope and you're doing it two skis down, you're, you'll get to the point on steeper slopes where you'll lose control of the sled and it'll just take the fall line. The fall line is simply where uh, a soccer ball will roll if you turn it loose on a slope. And that's what happens to a sled when you're two skis down. The most fun is when you're on your edge and you're able to carve and, and have that control of the sled. Anyone can learn the technique and have control of this sled in the backcountry. It's all about technique, it's not about strength. When you're committed to bring that sled to its edge, then you can carve across the slope and you have control of direction and speed. In a descent, for example, you can scrub off speed with uh, your sled when you're on your edge. I often like to compare this to a skier. They will not have any control when their skis are flat on the snow on the surface, but if as soon as they bring their skis or their board to its edge, then they have control of direction and the ability to scrub off speed. The other thing that comes along with sled control is learning how to use your throttle and your brake properly. Part of carving, part of balance, part of having control of your sled is knowing when to get on the throttle and when to back out of the throttle and at the same point uh, using your brake at the right time. And uh, we will address this to great extent in later videos, but for, for now you should always have a hold of the uh, handlebar grip with a thumb on the throttle and the opposite hand a hold of the grip with a finger on the brake lever. This is the form that you should use and you can then be prepared to address the control that is needed with the sled.